Welcome to episode 2 of C++ in 5 minutes. Today we're going to be taking a look at some basic input-output operations. In the last episode, I came up with this really, really basic Hello World program. Today we're going to iterate a little more on this. So the first thing I want to talk about is Endel because I forgot to talk about that in the last episode. And it's definitely something I should have touched on, but it just uh, slipped my mind. So... I'm going to add another line of text. I'm going to say my name is Braxton. And as you can see right here, we have two separate lines of code. So if you ran this, you would think that you would actually have two separate lines of text, but you would be wrong. So if we compile and run this, you can see that we actually have one line of text that's all mushed together. So how do we get it to skip to the next line? Well, we can do that using endel. So I'll just drop in an insertion operator right here. And I'll throw an endel statement in there. And that's really all it takes. So as you can see, if I compile and run again, it drops the line of code below that right after the endel statement to the second line. So we're going to clean this up a little bit. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get input from the user. And the first thing that we need to do is declare a couple variables because we need some variables to store data from the user. So I'm going to create an integer. So int test integer yeah, one equals zero. So we're just going to initialize that to zero and let's throw a string in there too. String. Uh, test string equals open quotations and that's our empty string right there so right now we have an integer which is basically just a number and a string which can hold some text and we're going to get rid of this code right here and we're going to write some new c out statements so c out please oops i forgot the quotations there please enter a number and we should probably throw in an endel. Yeah, there we go. Now we are going to use cin along with the extraction operator to grab input from the user. So we want the user to input a number. We are going to store this number in test integer one. And then next, let's see, I want to grab a string. So I'm going to say, please enter your name. So C out. Please enter your name and we're going to throw in an endl, same old, same old. And then we're going to use cn again along with the extraction operator to grab the string from the user. And of course that variable is going to be test string. And now we need to make sure that we actually properly receive the input from the user. So now we need to print out the data stored in these two variables. So we need to print out the data stored in test integer one and the data stored in test string. So in order to do that, we could just use C out again. So C out, oh my goodness. And we are going to type in the variable name. So C out test integer one. We need an endl statement after that and see out uh, test string. I'm forgetting my variable names already. And there's only two of them. <laughs> and that's all we need. So if we compile and run now, you can see that it is now prompting me to enter information as the user. So I'm going to move this towards the center of the screen. Please enter a number. We'll just enter 44. And please enter your name. My name is Braxton. And there you go, repeated information back to us as we programmed it to do right here. Um, so we have 44 as the number which is stored in test integer one. And we have my name, which is stored in test string. If you're really set on wrapping your head around C++, then I would highly recommend having a written resource laying around. And this is a great book. This is C++ Premier Plus by Stephen Prada. I bought this last week, read through it, and I love this book. I had to use a uh, different C++ book for college during my uh, C++ courses there. And this blows that book out of the water. It's much easier to read. I love the way this is laid out. And it has 
everything, pretty much everything that you need to know about C++ in here. Tons of examples. And if you want to check this out, I will put the link to it down in the description. It's also very affordable, um, especially compared to most college textbooks. This was 30 bucks off Amazon. I couldn't even rent my C++ book that I had for college for 30 bucks. That thing costs at least 60 bucks to rent. So um, a real bargain. Tons of content in here, good content, well written, lots of examples. And if you want to check this out, once again, link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.